Centipede, one of the most iconic Atari games. Published in 1981, you must shoot the insects that come down through a mushroom field and achieve the maximum score. But today we are going to be talking about of the mastermind behind this awesome game. We will talk about Donna Bailey. Oh, who, who will it be? <coughs> yes? Hello, we are calling from the past. What? What are you talking about? We are calling from the past to tell you that stop saying stupid things. How could you say that a woman can make a video game? That's impossible! Really? Is that what you think? Okay, let me tell you that you're an idiot. For sure you support Trump. I'm really rich. And now I'm going to show you what amazing things can make a woman. Let's start talking about the first woman who make an arcade video game. Donna Bailey. Donna Bailey, one of the first women to engage in the video game industry, where only were men, men, and more men. Hey, buenas a todos, aquí Willy Reyes comentando. An important revolution for those times. But, how did she get there? We back a bit into the time. After finishing his studies, Bailey was hired as a programmer for General Motors. There, she learned assembler language and much more. Few time later, she got interested by arcade machines. Has anyone asked why? Well, I'm not really interested, but why? Simple! Donna Bailey's best friend record shop, Santa Barbara, 11 a.m. Hey, I like this song! Really? It's Space Invaders, the fourth song of the new album of The Pretenders. Oh, and what does Space Invaders mean? Space Invaders? It is this fantastic video game! Eh, uh, what is a video game? And his name is John C. After knowing about this fabulous world, she sent to hell General Motors, and it was proposed to be hired by Atari. And she succeeded! Many ideas were coming to his mind, but one of those triumphed like no other. Yep, this one was Centipede, because let's not fool ourselves. Who doesn't like the idea of killing giant bugs that attack us? It's fantastic! The arcade was released in 1981 and was a complete success. But... Be the only woman in the team made her feel uncomfortable. She received a lot of pressure and seemed that it didn't fit entirely on the team at all. By that, in 1982, she would leave Atari, and shortly after she totally disassociated of the world of the video games. Despite this, she has given some conferences and classes of her experience in the video game industry, but as you have seen, doesn't depend on be men or woman to create a wonderful video game.